Recently, many of us have chances to work from home. I wonder if you feel lazy or distracted sometimes, or you want to have to work more mindfully, more peacefully at home. If those are your concerns, this video is for you. I'm going to work you through my day that I work from home, and I'm also sharing the lesson that I learned along my day and my tips for minimalist, mindfulness, and inner peace. Now, let's dive in. I like to wake up at the same time or pretty similar time as other days. Let's say 5 a.m. is quite good for my biological clock. I set up an alarm sound that is not too noisy but relaxing and soothing so my body can be woken up gradually and gently. After doing some hygiene tasks, like brushing my teeth, washing my face, I start making my bed. This helps me to see the tidiness and neat of my room and it also helps to declutter chaos in my mind. Then I sit in meditation for at least 15 minutes. This is a way for me to observe my body and especially my mind more clearly. You may already hear a lot of benefits of meditation like calming your mind or cultivating peace but many people say it's so hard to focus on their breath or they easily feel bored or they find meditation ineffective for them to find inner peace and that's truth i didn't have that state of peaceful mind when i began practicing meditation because i have a monkey mind it doesn't want to stay still but jump from this branch to that branch meaning the mind always wants to grab this thought after that thought. I wonder if you can relate to this. It took me a lot of practice to train my monkey mind so that it can be familiar with students, with doing nothing and enjoying this present moment. So I think it's normal when you sit down and you see your mind wandering. All we need to do is just to observe that monkey mind not fighting it, not trying to control it either, just remaining there, a childless witness. Whatsoever passes, we just simply take note of it, without any prejudice or bias. Then I go out to do some exercise. During this time, my husband also works from home, so we have more time in the morning to do more exercise together. Today is a beautiful day. The sky is so blue and the air is so fresh. After doing some stretching, we play badminton. We are sweating and having so much fun. While playing, we hear a neighbor complaining. I plan to have a peaceful day, so this makes me unpleasant a bit. But slow down, take a deep breath. I just smile and work away, knowing that People are nicer when they are happier, so you can understand how they are when they complain. Just like me when I have the tendency to complain, it's a mess inside my mind then. So just be empathetic. After workout, we come back home and make breakfast. I practice to make my food mindfully, not to hurry, so I can enjoy this peaceful, silent time in the morning. Before eating, I like to read out loud five contemplations. We are grateful for this gift from nature and all the words involved in creating it. We will eat in mindfulness to enjoy wholly and to observe the miracle benefits of the food that we eat. We will be aware of our attitude while eating to recognize and let go of our greed. We promise to only consume nutritious food we also prevent sickness and disease. We vow to lead a life of love and understanding to show our gratitude toward life and its people. It's always a good practice for me to be more conscious when eating, so I am thankful for having this food and for having my loved ones enjoying breakfast with me now. Then I take a shower. Gently and relaxingly embracing my body is also a kind of self-care. And I've made a cup of coffee. 
During this time, I partly work from home and today is my day working at home so I decided to make for myself something special and make a chai latte. Coffee is something like a routine for me but recently I've tried to reduce my caffeine consumption so I substitute normal coffee by decaf coffee or herb coffee. This is how an awesome morning looks like to me. I maintain this routine almost every day, even when I go to work at the office. My value is to nourish my body and my soul, so I don't compromise my mindful morning routine to do other things, because after having an awesome morning, I feel so good and energized for a new day. Okay, let's start working. Somebody likes to dress up to feel better like other days, but I prefer this comfortable casual clothes thing. Anyway, you can change your clothes if that makes you feel better. I don't wear makeup today either to help my skin take a break. I start my day by opening my time management tool. I don't use anything high tech, just this spreadsheet. And this is my flow to manage all the tasks based on the importance and the urgencies. Then I come up with my to-do list for today. I usually identify a maximum of three most important things for a day, which are things that I spend most of my time, and I highlight them in red. I follow the 2080 principle, in which 20% of our work creates 80% of values, so identify that 20% and focus on them only. That's my priorities. Other things can be considered as lower priorities, so I know where to put my energy in. And whenever I get distracted by other things, I have this to-do list as a reminder to drag me back to my focus list. This is just a simple action to do at the beginning of the day, but it's really helped me to concentrate more on important things. Stay away from my phone while working is also an effective way for me to concentrate. Another hack for me to be more focused is to practice working mindfully, meaning when I work, I practice to maintain the awareness of my body of the movements and sensations of my body, of the thoughts in my mind, I can ask myself, what am I doing now? Is there any tensions in my body? How am I feeling now? This brings me back to the present moment, whenever my mind is dispersed by tons of information, many of them are not relevant to my task at hand. Working mindfully also helps me to identify my tension immediately when it arises. Then I am conscious to stop working and come back to myself to take care of my tension. By doing that way, the tensions can go away naturally without escalating into something bigger like severe stress. I take regular breaks during the day to calm down, to stop and have a rest. I can do some stretching, go for a work or enjoy my breath and bring my attention to my abdomen. I make use of this time to let go of the thoughts related to work and only come back to my body and bring my thoughts back to the present moment. Then I continue working up to 12 p.m. Then I head to the kitchen for lunch. Unfortunately, I break the cup because I hold many things in my hands on the way to the kitchen. When the cup just falls down, I complain a bit. But after that, I realize the unpleasant feelings arose from me, from my expectation that things should happen as I want, from my habit energy of running to accomplish the goals. So at the beginning, it seemed unlucky to me when the cup was broken, but later on, I realized the lessons behind. It's a blessing in disguise. Firstly, I need to stop resisting unexpected events. Secondly, it's a wake-up call for me to slow down, to work more mindfully, and to enjoy the progress, not to run for the destination. 
because the finish line is for the ego, but the journey is for the soul. And I want to nourish my soul, not my elusive ego. After cleaning all the mess we have lunch, as usual, we start by reading five contemplations and then we enjoy our meals mindfully. After lunch, I take a nap. It's a good time for relaxing and calming down. Sometimes, I listen to deep relaxation guidance in Plum Village app to help me unwind my tension. I wake up after 30 minutes. I make another cup of coffee and start my work in the afternoon. Sometimes, I hear many noises. Some people are shouting and arguing. I feel a bit unpleasant because those noises distract me. But then I realize I can't control the external conditions. Just put on my headphones and continue my work. Now people also have noise cancelling headphones. It's so interesting to me. I'd give it a try someday. After a while, I have a slight headache. So I decide to take a break and have some snacks. By working from home, I can enjoy healthy snacks and I'm really thankful for this chance. I have an apple with almond butter. Moon Hing doesn't like to eat this sweet, but I read somewhere that dietitians recommend eating sweet foods with fat like almond butter to have slow down the absorption of sugar. This results in reducing the risk of diabetes or high blood pressure. Another important thing is we should avoid binge eating when we eat not because of hunger but because of our emotions. This means we experience unpleasant feelings while working and we only consume food to run away from those unpleasant feelings. So working mindfully can help us avoid this habit of overeating. After long hours of working, I go for work and also go to the grocery stores to buy some ingredients for dinner. I take this opportunity to walk. Rather than using my motorbike to be more active and relax after sitting for long hours. Then I enjoy cooking dinner and have a cozy meal with my husband. After dinner, I just relax. No more work. I spend time talking with my husband. We share with each other our day, our feelings, our concerns, so our loved ones can understand us better and can support us immediately whenever we feel down. At the end of the day, I sit down with my journal, writing down all my thoughts, my emotions, and especially things that I am thankful for. A good day for me is not about having an easy day, but it's about having a mindful day that I am aware of my demons whenever they come, and I am not dragged away by those unwholesome feelings. The demon his can be our greed, our anger, or our ignorance. Also, if I want a peaceful day, then I may easily react to external conditions when they are unfavorable. But if I let go even the goals of being at peace, then I have more chances to experience a peaceful day. This sounds pretty ridiculous for many people, but actually the desire of being peaceful is also greed, and greed always leads to suffering. That's my whole day when I practice working mindfully and learned some lessons. I hope this video can give you some tips to work mindfully minimize distraction and having peace inside when you work. I don't expect you to apply all those tips, but I hope just some of them may help you to ease your day. And I also want to hear from you your tips when you work from home, so please comment below. If you like this video, please give up a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you want to hear more about the topics related to minimalism inner peace and mindfulness. Thank you for watching. See you next time.